You know, some of these like direct translation things don't make any sense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Here, when it's raining very heavily, we say it's raining cats and dogs. In Cantonese, when it's ra- when it's raining really heavily, do you know what they say? And I'm sorry to all the Cantonese speakers because obviously I don't speak Cantonese, but they say um, "lokausi," which just means it's raining dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like that more. <laughs> Welcome to the worst Asian podcast, where a couple Asian American millennials give you our shitty opinions on all things Asian. My name is Linji. I'm here with my co-host who's wearing sunglasses indoors, yeah. Ben. Oh, fuck my life. What's up, man? How are you? You're actually wearing sunglasses in my living room. Dude, the sun is hurting my face, man. I cannot do it. Good fucking morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy um, morning. Happy spring. It's officially the first day of spring today, I, I think. Is it? I, I have no idea, actually. Oh, fuck it. Yo, guys, congratulations. It's spring. We made it. <laughs> I, fuck it. Right? There we go. Okay. You are very tired from the weekend. You want to quickly get into this so you don't take up the entire podcast just to tell me how tired you are. Uh, yeah, I'm just tired. I hate dealing with drunk people. People get so nasty when they drink, man. And I'm a really polite guy. You know what's the worst part? When people just spit in my eyeball. That's, oh, you mean when they're talking and they spit? Bro. Not that they're purposely trying to spit in your eyeball. No, because it's loud in there. So don't. That's when you need your sunglasses. That's what I I wear my glasses just for that reason. And then when I take it off and look at my like, oh, look at all the specs and shit. Does it look weird when I'm wearing sunglasses and shit? It is kind of weird because I can't. Right? There's a thing about eyeballs. Not that yeah. they just give you sight. But when I look at people, yeah. when I see your eyeballs, I can kind of tell emotions or yeah. it conveys things uh-huh. better. I guess we'll just see how this goes. Ben right. is basically wearing the sunglasses. If you've ever been drunk yourself, the sun hurts your eyes, which then hurts your brain. I feel like I've drank way much, way more alcohol than actual water this whole weekend. <laughs> well, you have coffee. You have a uh, Red, Red Bull next to you. We have this uh, Sanzo seltzer next to us. So we're yep. getting hydrated in all different various ways. Okay. um, We're doing some of our... Hey, you didn't ask me how I'm doing. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, how's your spring? How's my spring? Yeah. How's your spring? The first 12 hours of spring have been fantastic. I got to say, this this is a nice haircut. I don't know if you got a different guy. This is the same exact haircut. Dave, I don't know what happened to them. I think it's because you're drunk. I might be drunk. You got a haircut, right? I got a haircut. All right, good. I just want to make sure. And I'm like, yo. <laughs> my hair is not no- normally this short. Okay, okay. It looks good. You look sharp. Very um, sharp today. I'm doing okay. I have laundry downstairs in the basement right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if you guys hear tumbling noises, that's not Ben tumbling. No. That's that's my clothes tumbling in my sheets. Also, this motherfucker is like, I'm like, oh, so what do you have to do for a podcast? Yeah, you got to help me move a dresser <laughs> <laughs> up to the third floor or some shit. I'm like, motherfucker. I have a dresser that's in my living room and uh, I need it to move to the attic and that shit's heavy. Where's that shit? Is I'll show it? you later. It's oh, heavy as fuck. Yo, you're a dick. It's solid American mahogany. Fuck it. Yo, get that cheap IKEA compost <laughs> wood, bro. You know, IKEA furniture, you can never move. If you have IKEA furniture and you try to disassemble it, it just yeah. evaporates. Actually, yeah, you're right. That's it's true. It's done. It can never be the same. It can never be reassembled. You'll end up using more duct tape than actual screws the second time. <laughs> yeah, that's how IKEA probably profits from their duct tape. Or it's like a scheme mm. where they know that people move a lot, so they make furniture that purposely cannot be reassembled. So they, you have to go back to You have IKEA. to go back to and buy the exact same piece of furniture. And then at the same time, you're like, IKEA is so cheap. We can do it. And it's funny because... IKEA furniture, a lot of times, is also targeted towards like entry level people. So people oh. that maybe are just renting for the first time or whatever, oh. those people are likely to move more. Ah, oh, look at you. Okay. All right, that's Ikea, enough about this IKEA conspiracy thing. Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. What are we doing today, bro? You guys didn't ask for it, but our critically acclaimed series, <laughs> Oscar nominated, Whoa. New York Times bestselling, 99% run fresh. Tomato fresh. Certified whatever. fresh. Certified fresh. Gang, gang. So we're, we're bringing back our uh, death battle series, <laughs> Korea versus Chinese insert topic. <laughs> we are going to eventually run out of topics for this particular, um, what is this, a segment or reoccurring series? Series. Yes. Series. Well, we'll do, the next one will be like, we'll do like Korean scientists versus Chinese scientists. <laughs> That's almost like the invention episode. <laughs> Anyways, if this is your first time listening to one of these Korean versus Chinese death but death battle series yeah hold on i need to take a sip of coffee because i'm also kind of tired did you drink last night uh yeah i was my i was at my dad's house so we had a What'd you have? we had a bottle of wine red yeah damn i you know what's weird <laughs> half your face is blocked by the boomer and the other half of your face face is blocked by those uh, shitty sunglasses yo ray-bans are not shitty sir those are ray-bans i think ray-bans are overpriced yeah they are plus sunglasses from what people tell me 
they always end up losing half of their sunglasses. So when you buy expensive sunglasses, you know there's a very like there's a high likely chance that you're gonna just lose that shit. Yeah, like they're like 300, 400 Prada sunglasses. I'm like, or they'll break. I'm like, why would you? Yeah, they'll break or you'll lose them. How many sunglasses have you lost? Actually, I don't care about the answer. We need to get into this topic. Oh, shit. That's right. What are we doing again? I forgot. I've had these for years, though, actually. Really? Very long time now. We're going to do one of our death battle series. If you guys have never listened to one of these episodes before, Ben and I, Ben is Korean. I am Chinese. We yes, talk about a common Asian topic, and then mm-hmm. we try to go back and forth. Not very civilized. No. But we've known each other for 30 plus years, so it's okay for us to shit on each other. And when I shit on Ben's things today, I'm not shitting on Korean culture. I'm shitting on Ben. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole point. You know, this is world peace happening. We're yeah. we're doing the battle so the soldiers and the the diplomats don't have to do anything. Exactly. We're doing you guys a favor over here. That's right. We are the UN. And today we're gonna to be talking about phrases slash sayings. Slang. Slang. So Korean versus Chinese slang sayings, phrases, things K-town of that. Nature. Versus Chinatown. I'm gonna just gonna kick this off with the most maybe commonly known Korean and Chinese saying. Okay. In Chinese culture, when we want to cheer someone on or encourage them or whatever, yada, yada, everyone has seen this. Uh, 加油. 加油? It literally translates to add oil. 加油. 加油. When do you see this shit? Like if you're at a sporting match or a basketball game and you're in the crowd and Wait, you, instead of saying let's go or come on or like woo, so you when, say 加油. So when LeBron James fucking slams at home. I'm yelling add oil. You're literally at, saying add oil. Yo, LeBron, add fuck oil. I'm gonna I'll explain <laughs> the origins of that in a second, but you guys uh, have the exact same shit. Your phrase for cheering people on is just as stupid. Oh. Yo, okay, you Ben, you Korean Ben. Oh what, what do you say when you try to cheer other people on? Um, what's it? I like to say a uh, hiting. <laughs> I can tell so much that you fake that. Yeah, I, I I never say that <laughs> shit. It sounds weird when I say it. Uh, make sure you're talking to the mic because you're talking to the camera. Oh, again. <laughs> sorry. I keep moving my fucking head. I'm sorry. You never really say that. No. But I hear that a lot in K-dramas and TV shows and yeah. now, just like as a general thing. Mm-hmm. What is it again? Whiting? Yeah, it's, it's when Korean people can't pronounce fighting because they have a hard time pronouncing certain letters in English. So it's like, f- they can't do it. So they go whiting? Yeah, that's the closest thing. Fighting. Yeah, you can say fighting. That's fine too. Because it literally means you know, fighting. Yeah. So if you say fighting, it's fine. You know, that's a really shitty saying. I mean, you, you can shit on Bro. that oil, but. Dude, yo, literally, I could make a poll right now. What is a better fucking phrase to say at a game? Add oil or fighting? They're going to, it's fighting, bro. There's no way add oil beats fighting. You know, that also depends on the demographic of our listeners. If we have more Korean people, then yeah, they're used to saying fighting. That's better than add oil. No matter what. Add oil is like, <laughs> that's an instruction for cooking. That means put your foot on the pedal. What's the, the saying? Put the metal to the pedal? Put your foot to the pedal? Wait, wait. I'm, I'm getting confused now. Is it add oil or not? It's add oil. It's 加油, which directly right. translates to add oil. Got you. So that it is the cooking instructions for just every type of Technically, food Technically, it's oil, which is not cooking oil necessarily. Do you actually want to know where the origin comes from? Actually, yeah, that is very confusing. So yeah, that I need to know. Okay, it actually comes from Hong Kong. Apparently, according to, you know, the best place to learn about Chinese history is Wikipedia. Oh, I was going <laughs> to say Hong Kong. I was like, oh. So apparently, according to the internet and Wikipedia, it comes from in the 1960s, Hong Kong, like racing. Like F1? Yeah. Grand Prix shit. The fans would just say, add oil to go pedal, faster. Pedal to, the, um, pedal to the metal. Pedal, that, yeah. That's the fucking phrase I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, I was like, what are you saying? And if anyone wants to correct me on this shit, go fight Wikipedia. Go fighting. Go, go fighting. Go fighting Wikipedia. For the Jayo. I don't really need to ask for the origin of fighting, do I? Glad you asked. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's no deep, rich history on fighting. No, nah, man. It's just, uh, it's just a good term. After you explain it, it kind of makes more sense. But this is the thing. Dude, like how many Chinese people actually know like, oh, do you know the origin of add oil? Yeah, I but don't. they don't need to know the fucking origin of add oil to say jayo. Jayo is so common that people don't just say it in competitions. They just say it as like a sign of encouragement. Like when we're done here and you go to work, instead of saying have a good day at work, I'll be like jayo. Or if you're having a bad day and you're trying to like power your way through, I'll be like jayo. Sure, but I, it, it's harder to explain that. But at least I know the explanation. So it makes a little bit more sense. I guess. I was like, yeah, if, if you want to make popcorn. First time I've heard fighting... I was very fucking confused. Yeah, dude. You know what it is? You're, you're not surrounded by Korean people, but it's it's used everywhere in Korea all the time. Not just recently. You know, it's a funny thing. You, you mentioned Jai Ho, 
But, it's not jia ho, it's jia yo. Yeah, whatever. Jia yo, right? <laughs> I, what's it? But Chinese people, I noticed, uh, I think it means encore, a how, right? They go, they clap and they say how, 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 right? How just means good. Yeah, but they say that like at performances and shit and concerts. They clap and they say good, good. Dude, are you fucking serious? They say how, how? Yeah, bro. My ex, when she was Chinese, she was a performer. Whoa, hold on. You need to rethink that sentence. You Why? Said, my ex, when she was Chinese. Oh, sorry. <laughs> When I went to her Chinese performance shit, right? It's yeah. just a bunch of Chinese senior citizens. She was like in those like old Chinese history plays, I guess okay. you could say. I went to support her. Yeah. And like... Did you say Jayo? I didn't know. Did no. you hear people saying Jayo? I heard no one say Jayo, but I heard everyone say how. I was like, what is that? I thought it meant encore because they were clapping and saying, how, how, how. And like... That just means good. That's just like clapping and say, oh, no, nice performance. Good job. I yeah, like that. Good, 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 good. That makes more sense, at least. I was like, oh, Because that's-, that's literally saying good. A lot of slang or... Are you defending ad oil? It's great. I think I used to have a t-shirt oh, that just God. said ad oil. It You're just said chayo. Look at this fucking... No. Do you have a t-shirt that says fighting? No. <laughs> ben had a blank stare like, yeah. what, what's like, the point well, of that yeah, question? Yeah, like, how does that... Yeah, that doesn't mean you win. We're going to make a poll. Take a fucking poll. What is a better way of cheering someone on? Yeah. Add oil or fighting? Should I say cha yo or should I put add oil? No, add oil, bro. Okay. I'm going to write add oil yes. and fighting. Not fighting with a dash in the middle, but just fighting. So when we go to like a soccer match, Chinese people are saying cha yo. Yes. There's like signs for it too. Yeah. Okay. So it's the same thing then in Korean and hi- uh, fighting. Fighting, which is weird. Yeah. I don't how, know. How is that weird? I don't understand. How is that not as weird as fucking add oil? <laughs> It's, add oil makes no fucking sense. Yeah, it means like get that fire going. If add you, more wood. Add wood. <laughs> dude. It, it makes no well, sense. Wait, that's bad for the environment. What can we burn that's good for the environment now? You add know what? biodiesel. Yeah, add biodiesel, whatever. But I'm going to start using it though now. Say it again in Chinese. Jayo. You know what? Just say add oil. Add oil. <laughs> Just straight up say in English, add oil to people. Is it? Is that Mandarin? Yeah, Jayo is, is Jayo. Mandarin. All right. Whoever first said that, I'll give him a props for pulling that off. Is that the equivalent of something going viral? Yeah. I, it's like when someone says a word. What's the thing that word. you told me about recently, Riz? Yeah. So it's the equivalent of if there was social media from yeah. back then. Yeah, dude. Like, Remember when people were saying like pushing P? I was like, it's so funny when I hear like, I was like, what do you young kids say now? Pushing paper? Making yeah. money? Yeah. And now the new one is like a munch. What the fuck is a munch? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I like how this has turned into like <laughs> American like history little slang. Um, I don't want. I do. Do we want to know what munch is? Is it sexual? It, it's very yeah. Okay, we're um, gonna Ben's gonna explain this. If it gets very sexual, I'm gonna beep it up. So, um, a shout out to the, the artist. Her name is Ice Spice. Ice Spice. Ice Spice, like a Spice Girl. Yeah, <laughs> I was literally um, gonna say she the new Spice Girl. <laughs> but she got famous for this song, and uh, she says that something is a munch, and I was like, oh, it's a munch. So you know, my staff, they're all young and with it, cool, and I'm like, hey, uh, can I ask you what is a munch? <laughs> And they're like, oh, that's someone that takes pleasure into um, eating a woman out. All right. It describes a person. Yeah, and their preference. And it's like someone that likes to partake in uh, of the female. Huh. That's the okay. best to put it. All right. Yeah, that's what the I, kids are saying I now. I don't know if I'm going to keep this part in, depending on the length of this, this episode. Yeah. All right, Ben, do you want to start off with one a quick question? How many of these phrases slash slang that you've found today are just curse words? A lot of them, a lot of them are okay, actually Okay, can just, you start uh, with one that's not a curse word? Or should we just get the biggest curse word out of the way. I feel like the great thing about this is that I know you know a lot of this. I actually don't know a lot of Korean words. No, I think I, you definitely heard You probably it know more Chinese words, curse words, slang, phrases than I know Korean, vice versa. Um, what's it? So Korean is like really interesting in the sense of like we have consonants and vowels and we take nouns and you can butcher that shit. All right, Ben, explain what a consonant is. <laughs> a consonant is the thing that's not a vowel. And <laughs> what it is is that... What's a vowel then? It's a thing that's not a consonant. <laughs> So, I know. It's confusing. Very scientific. For example, I got to read this because I don't want to butcher this fucking <laughs> okay. part. Ben's reading over I got to read it. It's so weird because you have glasses on, so I, so I can't tell if you're asleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're drinking after this, right? <laughs> yeah, for the we're next drinking. episode. Oh, for real? Because you oh, sound <laughs> lethargic and tired, and the fact that you have sunglasses on, the whole time in my head, I'm like, is Ben asleep right now? I, I feel like I'm like good with my volume, though. You just have to talk into the mic more because you're turning yeah. away. You're still very conscious of the fact that there's a camera, so you talk to the camera. That's true. That's true. There's yeah. no one there. Just pretend there's no one there. <laughs> so, all right. So, you know the word uh, girl in Korean? It's yoja, right? Yoja. Yoja, right? And when you say friend, chingu. 
You know, ching, you that remember sounds ching, very racist. If you if you essentially that middle part, if you, Yo, had, okay. like, if you had a hard K. Very quick side tangent. Back when we were younger, when I heard your dad talk to me and he would say chingu. Oh man. I thought he was calling me a chink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. We were younger and I didn't yeah. know it's Korean, but yeah, I knew but that you know, like chink. first of all, his tone is very angry already, right? So he yeah, would say blah, 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 chingu. I'm like, is he fucking calling me a chink right now? <laughs> For the record, my dad didn't my dad did not trust Chinese <laughs> yeah. people. And all growing up, um, I was the only Korean with Linji and our other friends. My dad would just tell me he's fucking crazy shit. You know what happens if you all go to jail? Yes. They're going to rat you out because you're Korean. I was like, what the fuck? This is why I really thought he was calling me a chink back then. <laughs> anyway, don't use the word fucking chink. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Back to your explanation. So, yoja chingu means, means friend. Yeah. So yoja means a girl and chingu means friend. If you put it together, it just literally means girlfriend. That's pretty easy. Yoja right? Chingu. Yeah, Yoja Chingu. Oh, okay. that's, that's really good. So I didn't actually notice, but <laughs> you could combine it and you could say just Ya and Chin. Ya Chin. Yeah, so it's like half assing this shit. <laughs> your Chin. Yeah. We're talking about the part of your neck, your Chin. You could be like, yo, your girlfriend's Chin. Yeah. That's, <laughs> and I was like, okay, so you can butcher kind of things with that in Korean uh, language. I, I, Chinese is hard because you guys have like, that one word is that one symbol character. Is that what you call it? Just as a side note about Korean like words or structures or whatever. You yeah. have consonants and vowels. Are all those squiggly circles and lines and boxes? Yeah. And you just combine the, the boxes and circles to make a word like English. You combine the letters to make a word. So you know like how our shit like you said like it looks like Lego pieces and shit. It's yeah, like it a, does. It's like a trying. It looks like a math equation, yeah. right? It looks like you're trying to teach a third grader about the shapes. Exactly. So you take like the fucking consonants and the vowels and you know you just make words out of it. So it really it, is. It's like, like, it's like English. English, where you take it's, the letters and you make... That's what it is. So, Because in Chinese, you can't really do that because each character each fucking thing, is right. wholly representative of a word and you can't yeah. just break it up to do that. And the crazy thing about Chinese is that if you mispronounce it slightly... There's tones. Yeah, like it changes the whole word. Based on just what you said, just that little tidbit, it yeah. would seem like Korean would be easier to learn. Oh, dude, hell yeah. Chinese Especially for Americans who are used to like letters and words and putting them together. So... Chinese is easier to kind of pronounce, even though, but you have to be really, you have to perfect it. Okay. But the trouble with Korean is you can learn it faster, but it's really hard to speak it. To master it. Yeah. To like, like say not, it. Yeah. To say, say it, it in a way where it comes out actually sounding like what it's supposed to. So, you know that dude, um, the white kid that's in New York that goes to like Chinese restaurants? Shao Ma. Shao Ma, right? So his Chinese like immaculate, right? And he uh, knows yeah, all the okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's good. Not to shit on a white guy learning Chinese. His yeah. Chinese is much better than me as oh, a okay. freaking full blood Chinese person. So, so I'm not trying to shit on him. Yeah. So I'm I'm just watching. I'm like, okay, this guy is. He seems like he knows what the fuck he's saying. Okay. Right? But then when he does Korean, there's actually videos of him doing Korean. It's terrible. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say like his Chinese is decent. It's passable. He it's conversational. He can definitely survive in China 100. percent Yeah. But you can clearly tell with his accent and his pronunciation that it's not a natural born speaker. Oh. So his Korean is like that too? It's terrible. Right, like, cause it's really When I hear butchered. it speak Korean, to me, it sounds okay. It sounds pretty good. Yeah. But I guess you have a better knack for that. And I'm, and my Korean sucks, bro. So when I hear it, I'm like, oh man, like it's really hard. I can tell that he knows how to, like the grammar part. And he knows, I'm pretty sure he knows how to write it. It's way better than me. Fundamentally it's fundamentally correct. It's just hard when he announces it. It's really, it's really rough. Maybe his, his proficiency in each language isn't actually that good. Did you ever try to want to learn another language? Like you, uh, you actually wanted to? No. Nothing? Like, I want to learn many other languages, but I... What would be like your top three? I think we talked about this somewhere. We, but did, okay. we did, we did. Um, so I want to master Chinese. Okay. Mandarin Chinese. And then next, I want to learn conversational Cantonese. Okay. And then just for the hell of it, I would like to actually learn Japanese so I can read oh. less subtitles. Yeah, I was going to say for anime and yeah, shit, right? That's more like a uh, quality of life language. <laughs> like, <laughs> quality of life. It's like practical. <laughs> you know like how when they have like software updates and it's not like anything revolutionary or like new features. It's just quality of life updates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah. for me learning Japanese, it's not even to master a new language. It's just so that I can have anime and manga be a little bit easier to read. I like that though. That makes sense. And you're going to retain it better if you actually learn Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Ja Yo, is Japanese easy to learn? I feel like it is. I have I all the Asian languages. Like, some of the Japanese kanji is yeah. derived from Chinese characters. So some people have an easier time doing the written kanji part of Japanese. Every time you say, is it kanji or hanji? Kanji. Kanji, like, the, kanji, like, like the rice porridge? <laughs> okay, yeah, sounds like the rice porridge. Yeah. I think that's what the Japanese language calls some of their written text kanji. Oh, I okay. think, I think, I think. 
when you read like oh domo arigato it's like almost everyone can like nail it on the spot you know what i'm saying like japanese seems like the easiest thing to like say phonetically oh you think so i mean it seems like it because it's easy when you see it in English. Because they you try to say romanize it. it with, yeah. But Chinese Mandarin also has that. It's called pinyin, where they, it's a romanization of the oh. word. So me saying jia yo, I can just tell you J I A. Uh oh. Jia. Okay. Yeah. Y O U, which you might read as you, but it's right. yo. And yeah. then you add the tone to the top of it. You know, when you say that, the jia yo, yeah. it, that was like a really famous uh, Indian song. It sounds very similar. Do you know what I'm talking <laughs> yes, about? Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's from, uh, was it some, some dog? Some dumb Some millionaire. Dumb millionaire. Yeah, no, yeah. Jai, yo. I was like, I'm curious what that means. What if they? It also it means, means add oil. Add oil. Or... So you guys slap words together and make whatever. Yeah. So I can like almost kind of guess and say things by luck. I'm trying to find something on, on my list that's similar to that, so we can stay like within the same thing. Yo, just teach me. I'm some, gonna teach uh, skip some... around a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, we have a lot of terms or words that are derived from eggs. Ben's looking at me really weird right now. All right. All right, I'm going to go with it. Let's do it. <laughs> and you know one of these terms, Ben. We've said this to you a lot. All right, let's hear it. All right, Ben. What word oh, ha- I think have- I know what you're talking about. <laughs> it sounds like my name. It sounds like your name. What word have we called you that, that has your name in it? It has of? actually my full name. It has your full... Almost. <laughs> it almost has your full name in it. Yes. <laughs> it has your full name plus one letter. Exactly. And it's easy to memorize. All so, right, Ben. What and, Chinese word do you know that's basically your name? And out of a 10, tell me if I how well I say it. Um, I'm gonna say Ben Dan. Ben Dan. Well, what is that? Like an eight out of ten? I give you a six out of ten. Really? That bad? Yeah, because your tones are completely wrong. Say it again. Ben Dan. Ben Dan. That's a little bit better. What is that a seven? That's like an eight. Yeah. It improves. Ben, All right, Ben Dan means like idiot. <laughs> so hold yeah. on, we need to get to the part where oh, it's yeah, basically sir. your fucking name. Ben's name is Ben An. B E N. His last name is A N. Yes. The Chinese pinyin or romanization of Ben Dan. Idiot is B E N D A N. So it's yes. basically your name plus a dick in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> dick in the middle. <laughs> ben D An. Ben Dan. Ben Dan. So you have to say it that way. Ben Dan, because the tones. You know, your whole thing is basically Ben means dumb. So Ben is dumb means egg? dumb. No, Ben. Oh. Ben, ben means is dumb. dumb. So your name literally just means dumb in Chinese. Damn. So Ben means dumb and Dan means egg. So dumb basically egg. translates to dumb, dumb egg. egg. Which is used to like describe an idiot or like a dumb person. It's like, yeah, like the term dunce. Yeah, yeah. Similar oh. to it. But there's other things with eggs. Okay. Um, Huai dan means bad egg. And use it to, oh. to describe like kids that are don't behave well. Oh. So like huai means bad and dan means thing. That's actually almost very similar because we call some bad kids in English bad eggs, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is actually a really good episode because I'm actually You're learning. learning a lot. Yeah, this is really this is actually really good. <laughs> but huh? Once again, I can't tell if you're asleep with sunglasses. No, no, no. I'm actually look. learning. Look, I'm looking at me. Oh. <laughs> There's other ones, but the last one that I want to talk about is a uh, one ba dan. Well, ba dan. That just means son of a bitch. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. So it's eggs. Oh. I didn't really think about it until I started putting this down on paper and I was like, oh, this all has to do with eggs. It's actually kind of funny. Yeah. Once again, this says a lot about Ben, but literally his name translates to dumb egg in, in, <laughs> in Mandarin, which I find kind of funny. Um, what's it? In, um, in Korean, egg is kedan. Kedan? Kedan, yeah. Dan. Yeah, that's why I was like, oh shit, what the hell? So like, there's like a similarity. There are, yeah, there's a lot of overlap. In yeah. lo- I'm pretty sure there's some words that are basically the exact same shit. Yeah. So... Um, I'm not going to say my full Korean name, but you know, my first Korean name is Byung. Very, very common. So, no, it's not. Is that? No. Oh. I, I, I thought... It's I, very common know. within the Korean people that I know. Oh, you know a lot of Byung? No, I just know you. Oh, yeah, dude. What the heck? But Byung, there's a lot of meanings towards it. You don't say it any differently. That's the thing about Korean. You mean so, there's no tones for Byung? Right. So, like, it's not like Byung or Byung. Or Byung. 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 Yeah. Byung. Right. So Byung has multiple meanings. It can mean star, which was the idea of it. It means it means star. Next best. And then next one is um a bottle. Literally just a bottle. Is the bottle empty or full? Uh, no, it's just a bottle. I'm trying to think if it describes you. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, it's if a it's just a bottle, that means there's nothing in the bottle. Fuck so it, you yeah. are an wow. empty vessel. <laughs> this, this dickhead right here. I'm trying so, to apply these words to you. Yes, thank you. I, I know what you're saying, but it's a <laughs> it's a bottle. And then the other one is, I think it's also sickness. Why would your mom give you a name that means sickness? That seems like not a very lucky thing to do, right? It's the first thing, star. Star. Oh, so okay. She, she wanted yeah, to star. Are, are you sure you're not hungover? <laughs> I'm okay. Because I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I feel like you're not on it, but there right, we ben, go. What do you got? Do you want to just get the curse words out of the way? Uh, We could do that, but I also... You have a real phrase or slang or something. 
Yes. Okay. I don't know if you you don't watch a lot of K drama though, right? I'm watching more K dramas now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you ever hear anyone say like, "Oh, Tebak"? Yes. I don't know what that means. So it just means like, "Oh, uh, that's fucking amazing. It's fucking bomb." Like, great, awesome. Yeah. So you know when they say like, "Oh, Tebak," like if they're eating something, it's like an expression. Do you Chinese people have that? Like, oh, the closest thing will be like, and I don't even know if this is a phrase or a sound or what category this goes under. If I'm eating something and it tastes delicious, I go, "Wow." How do you, how do you, oh wait, what? Not, wah? not wah. wow, but like, wah. wah. That's, a, so, that's an actual expression. It's used also when you're, when you hear something that's stunning or shocking or you're in the disbelief. You can also use it like if you take a sip of yeah, something, yeah, yeah. you sip it like, wah. <laughs> Don't fucking laugh at me. What do you no, guys say? No, right. gonna... You drink the soup and it's really good. Drink it's... the soup, it's really good, and then say whatever the thing you say. Like, wah, like that. It's... Wah. Just like, wah. It's it's just like what you said. Wah. Is that just a common human thing and we're just too stupid to realize everyone says that? Yeah, they're going to be like, do you mean wow? <laughs> yeah. In Chinese, it's like, wah. It's kind of like uh, like bewilderment, like amazed. Yes. Like, wow. Yeah. Like, you're literally just like, wow. wow. It could be something negative too. Like, stock market went down 50%. Wah. Wow. All of, all of America's banks are crashing right wow. now. Wah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the fucking Make bank? sure you have less than 250000 in your bank account. Wow. Oh, <laughs> FDIC insurance. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. That's true. <laughs> Make sure if you have a penny over 250 move that shit to a different bank. Can the Federal Reserve like afford that? FDIC insurance is paid into just like how all regular insurance is by right. the banks themselves. So they're buying oh, insurance. Okay. So like when you buy car insurance, you're paying them money so that in case of emergency, they have the funds to pay them out. Anyways, getting back to our regular schedule program. yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. What, what was your thing again? Temu, temu, oh, tebak. Te- tebak. Tebak. So you drink the soup. Wow, tebak. Oh, you probably know this one, and I don't mean to cut you off. No. Oh. You've oh. heard this a million times. I'm sure you have. Uh-huh. Aya. Aya. So Chinese people love saying aya. Aya. That is more like you're also in disbelief or you're in shock, but if something bad has happened, oh, yeah, it's I like, what you mean. I spilled my tea. Aya. Yeah, or like, yeah. Ben is late. Fuck him. Like, aya. <laughs> like aya. You say like, aya. Do you have something like that? Uh, Shiba. But that's like, fuck. It's kind of like, damn. Yo, I was, I'm thinking every time we talk about this, it, I just feel like it's like all relatable. So you have aya, right? Yeah. We say aigu. Aigu? Oh, aigu. You spilled your tea. Aigu. Yeah, like, oh, aigu. Oh, like, like, I forgot my phone at home. Aigu. Yeah, yeah. And like, um, Especially like it's like good baby talk. So like if you have like a kid, it's like I go 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 go. Yeah. <laughs> so you could just like have them and be like, I go, I go, I go. Like, yeah. I don't know how to describe it. It's like I guess it's a phrase. It's not exactly like Aya because Aya yeah. is we would never say to a baby Aya 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 oh. Aya. Yo, you guys have heard this shit a million times. If you follow any kind of like weird Chinese, not weird, but just like Chinese culture on the internet, you've seen the word Aya appear in a lot of different ways. It's like uh that Jackie Chan um cartoon jackie chan says oh my god yes the jackie chan cartoon uncle oh yeah jackie the talisman i was like i'm curious what they translate that to when they put subtitles for that do they just write a y i mean a i y a or did they put something else oh man oh boy you know um do you remember kung fu panda i remember where i think i I forgot you were there but i I love how all of ben's chinese culture is (laughs) <laughs> it's from cartoons it's from and cartoons. shit yeah man that's the best we've learned baby okay go for it i remember when they were watching it the panda guy right but he meets his master it's master sifu right and like i remember all the chinese people started laughing and i was like dude what's so funny yeah he was like sifu means master yeah. so he's saying master, master 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 and i was like oh that's actually that's fucking hilarious yeah Sifu, aya. Was it your turn or my turn? I feel like I interjected some of my thing into what you were talking Dude, about. Dude, it's fine. You can definitely take the charge today, man. So, uh, 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 Jedi. That means bullshit. That sounds like someone from Star Wars. What? Jedi? Yeah. Uh, Jedi, Jedi. 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 Man, I can't pronounce that actually properly. All right. Uh, yeah. By the way, guys, uh, my pronunciation of my words and I'm sure Ben's pronunciation of, uh, of his words, <laughs> yo, yo, you guys should know this. If you listen to this podcast long <laughs> enough, yo, we're fucking up all the tones, okay? Yo. Can you change the title to this episode? How to learn Korean and Chinese in less than 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Make it like that. And then people were like, yo, what the fuck am I learning right now? <laughs> so um, what's it? I for our, for our actual, you know, listeners that I mean our listeners that Stop are talking actually, to the camera. That are I was gonna say that are actually camera. If you're Korean or Chinese, they're gonna correct the shit out of us. They know? are, they are they're I, gonna I can already see some of the fucking <laughs> comments already. I can already picture Yeah. 
The thing is, like, I can't correct you because I don't know, and you can't correct oh, yeah. me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're both just, I'm fucking saying this great. In my mind, I'm uh, saying this so great. This might be the one episode where if our parents are listening to it, they're like, wait, I actually understand what some of these words are. Why are they cursing so Yo, much? Yo, fucking weird side note about that. My yeah. little aunt, she showed my mom our TikTok. She's like, I found Lindsay on TikTok. No way. The most random shit. That's fucking awesome. How, how'd she react? I wasn't there, but then I saw my mom yesterday, and she's yeah. like, oh, I was talking to your little aunt, and she showed me this video of you and Ben. You guys yeah. were talking in video. Was she like, are you guys famous? So Ben tries to tell his dad what he does. I don't tell my parents anything, because to me, this is like a... Not that I'm, I'm hiding it from my parents, but just yeah, that yeah. we have so much more to talk about, and this is like a side thing for me, so it's not like that big of a deal. So I, I had to tell my mom, yeah, me and Ben make some... Uh, entertainment stuff on the internet i nice. I, I didn't know how to describe it and she was like nice. oh okay that's cool that was it i find it fucking hilarious that my little aunt somehow Just randomly found our tiktok yeah are you kind of curious to like do you want to see like what she actually watches and how it's just like she doesn't speak much english but my uncle her husband speaks yeah. like enough so I'm, I'm pretty sure she passed the phone to him and was like what is Lindsay talking about anyways what the fuck were we talking about oh it's just curse words curse words okay oh it's bullshit how you say bullshit in Jedi. korea Jedi. Jedi. Jedi mind trick. Jedi. Jedi. I'm trying to think. It's, it's like Jedi. Jedi. No, no. Lo, lo. Jedi. Jedi. It's like, uh, it's like saying like G, G? Like in the dull. More like a D-U-A kind of. So Jedi. 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 Oh, yeah. Jedi. Yeah. You feel in order it? to say it, yeah. I have to pretend like I went to the dentist and they just numbed up my gums. <laughs> Jedi. Yeah. Oh, it's like Joe Coy when he uh, impersonates all Asian people. His range for all shitty yeah. Asian accents is like pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I don't have an ex- exact word for that. I'm going to go into like... Curse words, anything, boom. Okay, let's just get the big curse words out of the way. How do you say the biggest one? How do you say fuck in Korean? Uh, fuck. I guess you can say shiba. But that means like shit. It means shit, damn, fuck. Okay, it's like all that thing. Yeah, that's the thing. Korean... Watch like, there be an actual translation of fuck that you actually don't know right now. <laughs> Ben's going to look up this shit. Yeah, she, no, Shiba. It should be Shiba. Shiba. Shib- that- Shiba, I've definitely heard. Not the dog, but I've heard the Shiba. Oh, Shiba. Like a lot. And Shiba Sheki? You've heard the Chinese word of it before. Tao. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've heard that a million times. Yeah. Even you say it from time to time for some odd reason. By accident. It's all so, by accident, guys. In Korean, it's Shiba, or yeah. that's as close as Ben can get you. Shib- and the Chinese, Shiba it's Tao. 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 That was good? C-A-O. Tao. C-A-O? Tao. Not Tao. Tao. Not Tao. 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 All right. Oh. How do you say... Fuck your mom. And sorry to the uh, listeners if you have this in the car with, with your kids. Uh, like, motherfucker? You, yeah. Shiba Sheki. Oh. You know that one. That's like a classic. I love how, like, some of these curse words that we're saying are just, like, good, like, throwbacks. It's like, yeah, I remember I guess the closest shit. equivalent of motherfucker in Chinese is Tamad. It's his mom. I guess that's the closest. You know, like, in Cantonese, is it? Uh, or what? maybe it's, like, Tao Ni Ma. Literally just means fuck your mom. Okay, there you so, go. Yeah, okay, motherfucker. Yeah. Tao ni ma. Yeah, tao ni ma. Oh, is that good? That's better. That's like, not out of 10 for cursing in Chinese, Ben. There you go. I'm learning. What's the other one? I heard dule lomo. Is that like Cantonese? I think that's Cantonese, so I that, actually technically don't know what that I means. Heard, it, that means like, it, please, the listeners, correct me, but I think it means like, I hope you fucking fall really badly. Like, I'm like, really? That's it? It's like, yeah, but it's I like really... Fall- it's really mean, bro. I, I swear to God, bro. You know, some of these like direct translation things don't make any sense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Here, when it's raining very heavily, we say it's raining cats and dogs. You I know, see. in Cantonese, when it's, re- when it's raining really heavily, do you know what they say? And I'm sorry to all the Cantonese speakers, because obviously I don't speak Cantonese, but they say, um, Lokausi, which just means it's raining dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like that more. Wait, say it again. Say it again. Lokausi. 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 I'm sorry. Ben's fucking up somewhat. I'm fucking up a lot too. I feel like every time I repeat it, I'm making it worse for you too. That's how they like say that. it's raining very heavily. It's raining dog shit. Why do why why is it the phrase it's raining cats and dogs? I have no idea. Right? Do you know why they say, Oh, I, I hope you break a leg? Why? When you say, Oh, I hope you go break a leg, it means that they want you to get be in the cast. Oh. Oh. Are you sure that's not like red con? The meaning is red con in because it was originally for like people that audition for television show. Go, so that's where like go break a leg. Yeah, so I was All right, like, oh, I'm okay. a, I'm a little bit skeptical about your uh, yeah, origin fine. of the word, but that's fine. It's fine. You have any other curse words that you want to get through before we go through actual phrases? Because uh, 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 half uh, your list is fucking curse words. Yeah, a lot of it's just uh, <laughs> it was a lot. Oh, so like Pyeong, uh, Pyeongshin, Pyeongshin. So Pyeong like my name. Oh, Pyeongshin, Pyeongshin, Pyeongshin. Yeah, like the noodle, Shin Ramen. Yes. 
Um, <laughs> I actually wrote I wrote down idiot like my name. <laughs> for two like for wait, my wait. note. Byung? Byung Shin? Byung Shin means like dumbass. Yo, ben. Like idiot. Yo, I don't know yo, why my dad named yo, me this. It's a f- yo, guys, if you're paying attention, we just learned that Puntan in Chinese is basically Ben An yeah. is dumb egg, idiot. Yeah. And now we learned that Ben's Korean name, Byung Shin, is basically also idiot, but in Korean. Yeah, that's what, that was the thing. I was like, yo, why is Byung? It has so many different meanings and shit. But I was like, why is Byung? And they're like, oh, it's for star. I'm like, yeah, but there's so many, there's three other shit words <laughs> connected to it. I was like, what the fuck, man? But ben, okay, I no longer blame you for being see, dumb. You were destined to be dumb from the beginning. Now do you understand why that name is not that common? Because nobody wants to be called dumb anything. Yeah, dude, it's like, yeah, you know, I'll take the fucking clearance uh, deal for the Korean yeah, name. But it's like they, they had to buy it or when something. When you also chose your Catholic name, you also got one that's kind of dumb. Well, ben? at least in the Chinese. Ben. I mean, that's different. Ben, it just straight up means dumb. Uh, all right. um, I'm trying to see if I have any curse words just to get out of the way, but I don't think I really do. All right, Ben. Do you want to learn how? And I'm sorry, we get very sexual here sometimes. What is a euphemism in Mandarin to oh. say that you masturbate? <laughs> what uh, is a euphemism? Euphemism is a euphemism. Yeah. To say that you're masturbating in English. Um, you're wrestling the one-eyed monster. Right. Along that vein, do you want to know how they say it in Chinese? I do. This is good. First, I'm gonna say it in Chinese. For those that speak Chinese, they'll get it right away. And then I'll give you what it actually directly <laughs> means. <laughs> in order to say that you're masturbating in Mandarin, you can say da fei qi, da fei qi, which means hit the airplane. <laughs> get the fuck out. Are you serious? Yeah. Da means hit. Fei yeah. qi means airplane. So it means hit airplane. Da fei, da fei qi. Da fei qi. And it just means hit the airplane. Hit the airplane. It's kind of like tap that ass, but why airplane? Well, if you think about the shape of an airplane, oh at least for a God. man, it's... That's, okay, I like that. That's better than that oil. But what the fuck? That's the same exact shit. If you boil it down, there's some meaning to it. Yeah, like, I realized in Chinese, you know when they translate in English, they, like, fuck it up always? So you're saying at oil is, like, fucked up? No. As in, like, it doesn't make much sense when they translate it? You've never seen, like, when you go to, like, Chinese restaurants, then they try to translate in English? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they fuck up, they fuck up the actual word. Right, because they're actually trying to translate word for word. And yeah. And it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, I'm like, damn, this is why Chinese is so hard. But what would you say? Hit, tap the airplane? Hit the airplane. Da fei qi. Da fei qi. All right, we don't, yeah, we don't have phrases like that. You probably do have phrases. You, you just don't know much of them. Yeah, I guess. You know what? Let me, uh, let me just make sure now. Ask Mr. Google Sensei. Yes. Uh, Sifu, Sifu, master, crazy man. He, ben is literally calling a friend right now. This call, is who I'm wants call, to be a millionaire. He's, he's using a lifeline. I'm calling my cousin right now. Hello? Yo, do you know how to say like masturbate, but like, like in a, is there like a Korean phrase for it? What'd you say? <laughs> he's, he's, up, he's in the office right now. And he's like, <laughs> and he's like, there's a Korean lady right now. For our <laughs> listeners that don't know, I'm talking to my cousin right now and I'm asking him, no, like, I want like a slang one, like a phrase or something. Tatari? Tatarum? Tar? Tatari? <laughs> what does that uh, like what is that like literally just jerking off there's nothing like cool like yo i'm stroking i'm you know beating the meat or like <laughs> pumping the shotgun or <laughs> wrestling the you know one-eyed jimmy huh that's it it's just jerking that's jerking off that sounds like a song <laughs> it's it's a new pts song <laughs> <laughs> i hope i don't get you fired by the way well thank you man uh dude I, we're literally doing it Pocket. This is all going live right now. Afterwards, I would say a shout out to my cousin. He's at work. Uh, he's risking his job getting fired. Um, <laughs> he's probably gonna get a sexual harassment. Uh, <laughs> the, the old Korean lady behind him is like, "Why does he keep talking about masturbating?" Yeah, why is he say? Why keep? You're in the bathroom too. Oh, bro. Oh. <laughs> he's saying masturbate in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> to anything. All right, man. Bye. All right, guys, I don't know how much of that I'm cutting in or out, but uh, Ben just literally called his cousin on the phone to ask, to ask how <laughs> he called me. He called you at the same time that you were looking up how to try to say uh, masturbate in Korean. Yeah. So, Ben, in case I cut it out, how do you oh, yeah. say masturbate in Korean? Tatari. Tatari. Yes. Tatari. The new BTS hit, Tatari. You've never heard that term? No, actually, no. I don't think so. Damn, my, my Korean is terrible. Maybe it's the legit way to say masturbate instead of like a slang or phrase. You said that's the only way. I guess I just never heard the word. By the way, you can't see my eyes at all. I can't see your eyes at all. Really? It's, it, I can tell it's like it's hard for you. I'm trying to figure out your emotions. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm fucking I'm chilling right now. When you can't see someone's eyes, there's something to it. That's weird. 
There's probably why people don't do podcast interviews with sunglasses on. Oh, Unless people. they're outside and shit. All right, Brian, do you have a non curse word, phrase, slang, whatever that you want to tell me about? Um, if you say um, mashita, that means, oh, delicious. But if you say moshiso, it means handsome. Does it sound similar? I think you said the same fucking word. Yeah, so it goes from delicious to handsome. I guess that's similar because you're saying a positive affirmation of something. So yeah. delicious and handsome. It's Although like, wow. you, you don't want to say that to a guy that he's delicious. Yeah. I mean, you could if you try to like go after him. You could be like, oh, this pizza is so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, I think I know what you mean. All right, let me see what else I got. This is not really a phrase or like a thing, but the color yellow. Yeah. When you talk about the color yellow in Chinese, it means something sexual, like either pornography or prostitution. It has that kind of meaning to it. Really? Out of all the fucking colors, because us Asian people get yellow as our default color, right? Yeah. Positive and negative. How do you, how do you say that? Huang. Just Huang. Yeah, which is Huang Se, the Huang, which is just yellow, the color yellow. It's directly the color yellow. Is there like a relation to the actual color to it? Or yeah. it's, just, it's just completely... I legit was trying to look this up. There is no like entire... Origin for it. There is no definitive oh. origin for it. You know, it's like when they say the red light district. Yes. Red is supposed to indicate like... In, Sex. I guess, yeah. But in, in China, it's yellow. It's yellow, which is weird. Is yeah, that one I'm curious Red about. light district a American term? I think it is. Because, I mean, when I was in the Philippines... Um, I didn't go, but I remember... Um, <laughs> but not to very... <laughs> yes. Disclaimer, I, I didn't go to this prostitution I, alley. And I remember they call them bunnies or some shit like that. I think they refer to girls, prostitutes as bunnies. As bunnies. Yeah. So I never got to go, but they... I remember um, I was with a bunch of aunts and they were like, hey, you want to go to the red light district? Is it a tourist trap? They are making a joke like, hey, you want to go to the red light district? I'm like... Huh. I was like, uh, no, Ate. Like, I'm good. Like, but then they're just like giggling. She's like, yeah, we're not bringing you there. Silly. I was like... Okay. Ate means uh, auntie or sister, I believe, in Tagalog. You probably know more Tagalog than you actually know Korean. Yeah. That, Just from this episode so far. I got you now. There's a saying. It's called uh, Sony Kuda. Sony Kuda. Yeah. So Sony Kuda, I, I actually know what this means. It means you, uh, you have big hands. <laughs> Is it sexual? It's, no, it's not actually. Okay. It's supposed to also mean that you're a very generous person. The actual saying directly translates to you have big hands. Sony Kuda means like, oh, hands are big. Ah. Uh. You're a very generous person. Say that again. Sony. Sony. Son. Sony. Right? Sony. Koda. Koda means big. Koda means big. Sony means hand. So it just yeah. means big hand. Yeah. Sony Koda. Yeah. Huh. Sony Koda. That's actually, that's really. That's actually a useful one to use. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to save this. Watch. I got you, bro. I got I was going to say, I was going to say, Ben's list is entirely full of like curses and <laughs> he's trying to make it up himself right now. <laughs> All right. Um, what do you okay. got? What do you got? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to bring this back a little bit. Just so you know, the way that you say pervert in Mandarin, you might have heard this being screamed at you at some point during your life. Bian Tai. No way. Is it really called Bian Tai? Have you heard that? It sounds like hentai. Oh, fuck, it does. Yeah, and hentai means pervert. Guys, you know that emoji where the guy, his, his mind is blowing up right now? Yeah. The white dude with the glasses and the black t shirt, and he's yeah. having like his mind's blown up. Yo, my mind is doing that right now. <laughs> Yo, I'm connecting the fucking dots. You yeah. guys can't see this, but I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> I, actually, I actually did something crazy right here. Bian Tai. Bientai. Means pervert in Mandarin Chinese. Yeah. Hentai also means pervert in Japanese. Holy fuck my my brain. And it sounds very similar in Korean too. I say in Korean. Pyeonte. Pyeonte. Oh fuck, that's literally the same exact word. There you go. Connecting the dots. Pien- I've been I've been called it Pyeonte before. Oh fuck, Pyeonte, Bientai, Hentai. Guys, I'm gonna look up this shit right now because I want to know other variations of Asian languages. Ben, you give the next thing while I look this up. Uh so I guess um you know, goosebumps, right? So when you get goosebumps, it means, you know, you're cold and stuff. But we say uh, taksai. Taksai? Yeah, taksai, literally just the little translation of it is chicken skin. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I think in Chinese, it's something like that too. For real? Yeah. Yo, there's this one dude that like just like fucked around with all the languages. And he's like, <laughs> I'm just going to make it all fucking the same right now. Oh, yeah. In Chinese, it's chi pi, which just means chicken skin. Are you serious? Yeah, it's the exact same shit. And you, you know, use, and you use it for when you get goosebumps. This episode was supposed to be about us just like shitting on each other, but we're just like, yo, everything just sounds <laughs> the fucking same. There's actually connection here. So instead of making Korean people and Chinese people fight more, we're just uniting us more now because we realize we all speak the same fucking language, basically. There you go. 
Anyways, what else do I have here? Um, let's just round this up with some shit. You've heard this phrase before, sin new. It means leftover woman. You discovered this a uh, oh, couple of weeks duh, or that, months ago. Yeah, it's a fucked up term, bro. Women who are above a certain age, I think 30, and they're yeah. not married yet, so they're called leftover women, which is soon new. That's rough, bro. I was yeah. like, damn, that's that's savage. I actually have a bunch of like texting stuff. Yeah, dude, just like say, and then it's just me like, you know, learning and just like giving an opinion about it. So I when guess. you text in Chinese, because you know how we have LOL, JK, oh. blah, blah, blah. Each language has some variation of that. Uh, some of the biggest one is you can write 3Q. So the number 3 and the letter Q. Okay. 3Q. And that means thank you. Really? Because in Chinese, the way that you say the number 3 is san. Yeah. San Q. Oh. It's like a, It's like if someone didn't know how to say thank you, they yeah. go san Q. <laughs> All right. I, I like that. Okay. So it's that 3 and the letter Q. So you say that to say thank you. Oh, it's, it's like in English when they just do like 10 and Q. Yeah, 10, 10 Q. Q. Oh. Yeah. Same exact shit. So it's 3 Q. Um, five zero excuse me five two zero yeah in chinese you say the number is wu er ling it just it sounds close to wo ai ni oh so five two zero means like wo that. ai ni five two zero five two zero the, the number five the number two i'm, the gonna, number use zero, that, five two I'm zero. gonna use that if i if i text that to a chinese chick it's like oh prior to looking this up if you texted that shit to me i'm like what are we doing on May 20th? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening May 20th? <laughs> Why do you keep texting this to me? Oh my gosh, that's pretty cool. We have also in the, in Korean, we say 8282. 8282? Yeah, so 8282, when you translate it, yeah. it's pali, it's pali. But when you say pali, pali, it just means faster, faster. Pali, pali, I've heard. Yeah, so it's like, it's cool that like in Chinese, you have the same idea with the numbers and stuff. There's a saying in Korean that says, uh, your mouth is bored. What do you think that means? <laughs> it's not sexual. I swear to God. I, I looked up PG shit. Your mouth is bored. Yeah. Does that just mean you talk too much? No. Does that mean you talk too little? No. Your it, mouth is bored. What can your mouth is bored mean in Korean? Yeah. So when you say in Korean, it's ibi shimshime. Ibi shimshime. Yeah. So ibi means your mouth. Okay. And shimshime means they're bored. Okay. When they say that, it just means like, oh, you don't, um, what's it? You don't want to eat. Like you don't want to eat something. Some of that stuff makes sense, but I, I also feel if we did this whole episode just on English phrases, we could probably break it down that same way too. Check out our ep- next bonus episode where we already talk about English phrases. I thought this was going to be a bit more like... Like more in, like crazier. More crazier, more fun. I just yeah. feel like we've just learned a lot of information. <laughs> yeah, this was too informative. <laughs> way too informative. Like I'm genuinely like impressed by like all this shit. I'm like, this is pretty cool. We actually learned a lot. We our- did learn that... Uh, Asians say pervert the same way, though. Piantai, hentai, and... Piante. Piante. So, guys, don't be a uh, hentai. It's going to be the new BTS song? Piantai. All right, so if you had to rate this episode, I'm giving a solid <laughs> five. That's a fucking five, dude. Help me out. <laughs> and I could tell it was hard because you couldn't even, like, read off my energy. All right, guys, if this is your first episode, I'm very sorry. Some of oh, the yeah. other Korean-Chinese uh, battles are much better than this. Please go back to some of the other shit, okay? Yeah. We thought this would be, like, a bit more hard, hard-hitting and fun, but... uh. We just informed ourselves. Um, you're, you're, I'll give you this. All right, Linji wins this one. I'll give it to you. Just by the simple fact that I did better research than you. The adding oil thing, that is wild. That still blows my mind. Jayo. White ting. White ting. White ting. All right, guys. On to our favorite segment of the whole podcast, Ranting and Raving. Uh, hopefully, this part is a little bit more entertaining. This is a part where Ben and I li- like to uh, vent about something negative going on in our lives or uh, maybe rave about something positive. But given how that we've been positively learning new information today, we're probably just going to be bitching about stuff. Yeah, uh, but I'm genuinely impressed that uh, I actually learned something. <laughs> Dude, I was, like, I'm pretty, I was pretty hungover. I'm actually like really awake now. I'm like, this actually woke me up. This shows that when you insert new information into your brain, it just wakes it up. It's better than caffeine. Yeah, yeah I think you're right. New man. facts, new facts. New facts, baby. All right, Ben, what do you have to uh, bitch about on this episode? Um, so I got into another car accident in the Uber. <laughs> this is the second one this year. Yo, Ben sold his car, takes primarily paid Uber transportations. Yes. And you would think he would get into less accidents. Bro. This is the second accident in like the past couple months. Dude, it's the second one this fucking year already. If you think about it. I was like, what the fuck is going on? What happened on this accident, Ben? Um, so I'm in the car. We're on the BQE, right? And all of a sudden, it just goof right from behind. We got fucking um, hit from behind with a van and shit. Yo, I was my neck actually got fucked up. Oh, really? You had a whiplash? I had whiplash because, you know, we didn't expect it. And I stayed in the car. No cops showed up. 
And then the guy actually took me to my my spot. I was like, you mean he took you to your final destination? Yeah, he was. I was like, hey man, my bad. I gotta do this. Can you just stay in the car? I'm like, yeah, I don't think I have a fucking choice. It's a highway. Oh, you guys pulled over in the middle of the highway. It was. We didn't even pull over. It was just stuck right there. Oh, the you highway. stopped where you got hit. Yeah, dude. You didn't pull over to a shoulder or anything. Nah, man. So yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, was the other driver behind you that hit you like? Um, I also he, he didn't even seem like he gave a shit. I was like, <laughs> I was like, yo, I think this guy's working or something. He seemed bothered by the fact that he had to stop there just to wait for the police to not come. I think so, yes, yes. But yeah, that was uh, interesting. I was just like, huh, at this rate, I, I'm just going to keep getting into car accidents. Uh, maybe I'll pay, we'll pay it off in the future. What about you, Ben? Um, I realized this very recently when I was over at my parents' house. Why do people quickly rinse off their utensils and dishware before they use it? Is that just oh, an Asian oh. thing? Yeah, yeah. actually, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're right. I don't do it in my household now with just me, my wife, and my son. Yeah. But at my parents' house and my entire life growing up, we always used to, let's say, rinse off our chopsticks or our forks or spoons yeah. or, or like our bowls before we use them. That's true, actually. I do notice that with some people. Do Americans do that? I don't think it's like a big thing with Americans. I mean, we could be wrong, but it's like when American people wear their shoes inside the house. That's fucking disgusting. Right? I don't get that shit. But the bowl thing, it makes sense. It's like, oh, that's kind of hygienic. Is it? If like you have, you might have soap on the shit. You know, there's dust on it. You know? The dust part, I kind of get. Yeah, but, but how come most Americans don't do it then? Is it because they're busy using like a, a paper place? Just to throw that shit out? <laughs> Shout out to our guy, our CFO. <laughs> he never rinses his uh stuff because he's using paper plates all the time. <laughs> all the time, and I, you know, I was thinking, I was like, oh, that's actually a smart idea. I never thought about that. It's convenient. Yeah, I didn't. But know. it's costly and it's bad for the fucking environment. Yes, it is. The actual answer might be like. I know my parents grew up in a house that was not like very uh, nice and everything. So it might be just oh. the drawers or like the where the cabinets that they're putting yeah. the stuff back in yeah. was just like not clean, clean. Okay. You know what I mean? Like yeah, maybe yeah. the house was more dusty. Maybe like the kitchen was older. Yeah. So they were afraid of just while the clean dishware was sitting in the drawer. Yeah. Maybe it was getting dirty. And Can I ask you like a personal question? Yeah. Your parents growing up, right? Were they like, like what was like their like house when they're growing up as kids? Oh, my dad was poor, poor. Like my like, dad was like, like in a village and shit. It's not necessarily the location of it, yeah. his um, family situation and what it was. When I say like my dad struggled to find food to eat, my dad literally struggled to find food to eat growing he, up. He had to like scrape, like yeah, scrap right. and like hunt even. Well, not hunt. He's not fucking. He's not. He's not bear girls in the no, woods. I don't know. <laughs> he lived in extreme poverty given the wow. his family situation and stuff. You know what's crazy? Like I'm not close to your dad, but your dad is like he doesn't get um. How do you say like emotional? He, he has not, zero emotions. <laughs> You're right, yes. But <laughs> the reason why I ask is because he seems like a very humble guy. He's very like minimalistic. Like, yeah, I don't need much. You know, yeah. as, as long as I have food, you know, a nice roof over my head, like I'm good. My dad has his problems too. Every older generation of people that is brought up in some kind of like household, it's going to leave scars yeah. no, no matter what. So my dad has his, his issues as a result of that childhood that he grew up in. But for the most part, he doesn't give a shit about like materialistic, materialistic stuff. stuff. Yeah. I mean, he owns like a nice jacket, but he that's just because he's genuinely cold. <laughs> yeah, you're like, like, you should yo, get a nice jacket. Nice jacket will actually keep you warmer. <laughs> and it lasts long. Yeah, we could do the outro. Um, Ben, don't wear sunglasses oh, for you, the you, recording. So you didn't like it? I didn't like it because it's very odd. I told you. I could feel it, bro. I knew it, man. Just imagine if we did a recording and I had a bag over my head the whole time. Dude, that's way different. <laughs> if, you have, if you have sunglasses, I would think it just looks cool. Maybe you're not paying attention to me as we're talking normally, but I feel like oh. I'm always looking at your eyes for cues. I'm literally looking at your eyes, and honestly, yeah, you, you can see my fucking eyes. Yeah, you're like bugging out. It's like I feel like it's like <laughs> Linji never saw anyone with sunglasses ever in her life. Like, I never that's, tried to have a deep conversation with anyone with sunglasses. Yeah, dude, I find it very rude. Like, imagine you went to your job interview and you were sunglasses. <laughs> that's pretty funny, actually. Yo, that, <laughs> yo, that'd be fucking hilarious. Like, imagine, it's like, like you're, in a, I'm in a button down, and I come, it's like. Hey, Mr. Johnson, how you doing? My name is Ben. Sunglasses. Hey, this is my resume right here. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, let's let's do it. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm not blind. No, no, <laughs> you're I, not blind. I'm just fucking weird, but I'm excited. Yeah, you're, that's what you're feeling right yeah, now. Yeah, it's weird. It's like you're trying to do a job interview because I'm asking you questions. And I'm trying to gauge your reaction. Yeah, I can feel it. You're like a little thrown off by it. But I'm like, I feel this is, sunglasses. I'll this is like, equivalent to the few times that we've had to remote record a podcast. Oh, and that, that level microsecond delay. Yeah, throws off. The feeling of a podcast really you can't you can't read like the smile and like your smile i can read but yeah there's cues within your eyes like if uh. you're squinting about something but your mouth is doing nothing 
I can tell you're confused, so I can uh-huh. react to your okay. confusion. I got you. But if you're squinting with fucking sunglasses on, yeah. I can't see shit. <laughs> or like if your eyes are open like very big, you're shocked and surprised. Yeah. I can play off of that. You know, it's crazy. I, like a lot of times when you tell me, my eyes were like, oh shit. Like, yeah, I like can't this. tell. Like, oh shit. But the whole time I thought you were just asleep. <laughs> So this was a this was a a, a failed experiment this pretty was much. A failed experiment on many fronts, dude. <laughs> and I actually I because of it I actually really enjoyed this because it was so <laughs> I was like this is fucking hilarious. But uh yeah man uh great episode. I'm like, sorry to usual. feature Linji for having to edit oh this bullshit. God. I I am sorry. I'm very sorry, dude, feature Linji. You're gonna pop um what's it the champagne? All right. Ben brought a bottle of champagne. We'll talk about why we have the champagne during the bonus episode. I was just tease, the bonus tease, episode. tease. <laughs> Ben's pregnant. <laughs> Ben should be drinking I, if he's pregnant anyways. I, uh, I got someone pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we're at the outro. This is the part where of the outro where uh, I stop talking and Ben does the whole outro. Go, Ben. All right. Um, let's see. This was probably the best fucking episode we've ever done in the history of the Worst Asian Podcast. I'm so glad that you're able to witness history in the making. I am wearing sunglasses right now. Linji does not know who the fuck I am. He thinks I'm going to rob him currently. We fucking butchered our, our native tongue languages. It was I a fucking shit show. I my cup. Gang, gang. There you go. We're probably going to get shit faced after this because I think. Fighting. Fighting. Jayo. Jayo. Da feiji. Ben tai. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the rest of the phrases and shit. But um, yeah, it was fun. We probably made your language worse. Uh, we apologize. Linji probably thinks I'm blind at this point. <laughs> uh, he probably thinks I'm like Ray Charles and shit and just like fucking like Stevie Wonders and stuff. But uh, honestly, I'm going to just do our plugs. If you really feel bad for us, you can find us on fucking Spotify and fucking Apple and shit. We do subscription content there. <laughs> we do, please. Yeah. Um, you're probably not going to sign up after listening to this one. So what I highly recommend is you go back to our past episodes. Um, we get a lot of good feedback. Um, a lot of my friends enjoy it. Yes. So that's the this cool part. This series generally is very fun. We were not as racist as we should be because I was genuinely learning a lot. We were actually educating each other. That's, fa- that's not the point of this yeah, series. We don't want to get smarter. <laughs> we need to get fucking dumber. <laughs> or more angry at each other. Exactly. This was, yeah. So thank you for making it to this. I don't know how long this episode is going to be, but we have a monthly subscription that you can uh, add on Spotify. Spotify kind of is uh, glitchy. but Actually, gonna- they fixed everything now. For real? It's no more glitches. There's no more excuses. You guys know what to do. Sound the alarms. Sign up, pay us ten dollars a month if it's you want. It's not ten dollars a month. I know. Well, your Venmo us the rest anyway. <laughs> we will refund you. I'm lying. I'm not gonna refund shit. After that, what you could do is you could go to Apple, and Apple is a lot. Uh, I guess Apple's the same shit. It's ten dollars as well. It's not ten dollars. <laughs> it's four ninety nine. No, no, it's on sale. Look at that. <laughs> Holy shit! It's on sale, guys. So right now you can get it for the low, low price of four ninety nine. Do we have any Bogo offers? I, I also. Free shipping. That's the fucking crazy word. We have fucking free shipping. So I think we should just make this the episode where we just plug our shit. Uh, thank you for fucking joining us. Um, free shipping. <laughs> yeah. Um, P.O. Box uh, 11356. That's uh, someone's P.O. Box. <laughs> That's going to be someone's P.O. Box. <laughs> Yeah, uh, gang, gang. Um, my hangover is over. So, 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 oh, what was I supposed to say? Find oh. us on socials. Oh, shit. Yo, you can find us on all our social media platforms. Uh, Linji handles the IG one. And it is the shit. Um, you get to kind of see like the behind the uh, scenes kind of stuff. Uh, Linji, um, I have my own personal IG. I'm not going to answer you because <laughs> you people are weird. Just kidding. I love y'all. But doctor, is there a doctor? All right, guys. Else? We appreciate sure you oh. sticking through for the rest of this episode. Oh, Linji's back. Uh, if, um, we'll see you next week. Back every single week. Appreciate it. Love you. Bye. Peace. Thank you.